everybody, what's going on? My name is Paul from the COD Brothers Gaming today and we're going to be starting something new this year on this channel. Today we're going to be doing anime review and today is going to be episode 344 of Naruto Shippuden. Now, as a whole this episode was alright, it wasn't the best because of a few reasons and I'm going to go into that in a second, but out of 10, this was a 10, out of 10, this was an 8 out of 10 episode, mainly because of the fillers. The flashback sequence I didn't really like. But the Madara Uchiha sequence in his prime, that was some good shit, I'm just saying, like, damn, oh my god. When we saw him use the Uchiha reflection on Naruto, it was just awesome. But then they went back to the flashback that we've seen for the 20th time with Kakashi and Obito. I, I mean, I can get where they're coming from. The flashbacks is good for people that haven't seen the show yet, but I mean, at this point, do we really need it? Dragon Ball Z never had this many flashbacks, they had a few every now and then and, and I even like Dragon Ball Z filler but this is I, I really don't like Naruto filler and that's why this episode is an 8 out of 10 at best I mean with the flashbacks and all the flashbacks are actually what got me into Naruto in the first place but I just don't like them at this point they're just too many I mean that's the only thing I don't like about Naruto too many flashbacks and filler and it, it, sometimes you could get a flashback of a flashback that's how bad it is so in my opinion that's the reason why this episode's an 8 out of 10. However, spoiler alert, click off the video right now if you guys don't want to hear what's coming up. The next episode, I think, is going to be one of the greatest episodes ever because I actually read the manga. I read all of this back, way back when these, man these manga chapters first came out, and I stopped reading because I wanted to watch it in fully animated form. That's the only reason why I stopped. I read up to where Sasuke meets a certain few people, which I don't want to spoil, so that that's, that's, as, not, that's as much as I can give you. So, um... Aside from that, the next episode where you get to see Obito, hopefully it's the full thing. They only showed us a picture of the, the moon, I believe it was, so that's a good sign. I really want to see what it went down there because there were some speculations on what could have been. I, I was looking it up on YouTube when, when I read the manga chapters to see some discussions all over the place. And, um, spoiler alert, click off right now. I really don't want to spoil this for you guys. If you guys want to hear what happens, go ahead, but click off right now if you don't want to hear what happens. Apparently he's gonna see Rin's death in the most epic way possible because Kakashi is the one that killed her and Apparently he's gonna see it through he's gonna see it through the Zetsu. So it might be an illusion. That's just a, a Random thing that I read. I'm not sure if that's entirely true But if it's an illusion or if it's really what happened because Kakashi was always talking about this since the beginning of Naruto That's what I love is bringing stuff way from the beginning to now um Kakashi is the one that kills her because she's a, a spy for the Hidden Mist. I believe it was the Hidden Mist. And that's pretty crazy. I didn't expect that from her. But I'm really, really interested in seeing what happens here. And maybe we might get some clarification on what happens. Because I didn't really remember that part too clear. But what, what happens later on with Sasuke is pretty epic. Um, not going to go into that for now. But in my opinion, this episode was an 8 out of 10. Mainly because of Madara and what he did for those few seconds and and even in his old form getting to see him attached to the ghetto statue and everything the Guido statue whatever you want to call it I thought it was pretty badass and, and I, I guess Obito he had a bit of comedy in there you get to see him still as a pure human oh and, and one more thing this episode really goes into your morals like human life morals because um it goes into the real life society that we live in today where what the hell my phone um like when you go outside, what do you think of it? It depends on your point of view of the world. Like some people aren't living in a good of time. So you might think of this world as a hell. And then some people might be thinking of this place as like a balance of both. I mean, we've all been there at one point, right? Like where you think of everything in this world is just complete garbage. That's why I really like Naruto. They really delve with the things that the other anime really has delved in. Dragon Ball Z never delved into this. That's why Naruto has some edge over Dragon Ball Z and this type of stuff. But I mean, where Madara Uchiha is uh, trying to come from, trying to make a world full of peace. It's almost a brainwashed society, but can you blame him? His life's been pretty bad. I don't really know too much of his past. Well, we do know some of his past, but I, I want to see more of it because we didn't. I didn't really get to see how he got defeated and everything. But I mean, like in detail, I, I, I didn't really understand why is he such a depressed old man. I mean, he calls himself the ghost of the Uchiha, Uchiha but I really don't understand why I, I don't remember exactly so i really want to learn more about madara uchi on why he wants to create this world i can perfectly understand why obito i can perfectly understand why obito signed up for this to make everybody into one brainwashed genjutsu and make everything happy and just pure light but that's not a reality and it really makes you think that this world is hell because that's exactly what they said in the show when you look around the world today 
and then you look at the world in Naruto, it's not that different at all. It, it really it really makes you as a person have to bring out the light and everything, and it's just really crazy to see that. I mean, what do you guys think? I, I honestly can see it both ways right here. It's pretty crazy. I mean, I've been to that place and back. Things get better as time goes on, so I don't know. You guys tell me what you guys think. This episode is an 8 out of 10 for me. What other animes do you guys want to see me review on this channel this year? And uh, yeah. Other animes that I'm watching right now are Yu Yu Hakusho. I'm rewatching the entire thing in Blu-ray quality. And um, a bit of Death Note. Dragon Ball Z as always. I'm just watching a few episodes of that. Um, Code Geass, I've already watched that. So I'm going to try to review shows that I've watched in its entirety and then shows that I've watched in an episode as I go along. Hopefully I can do it like that if you guys want me to do it like that. I might rewatch One Piece because I stopped at episode 100 because of school. Um, yeah, that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like and favorite the video if you guys want more. If you guys have any comments on what I should do for this show, tell me in the comment section below. Until then, everybody, my name is Paul, and I'm out. Peace.